It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads, Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1747, recorded Thursday, October 3rd, 2019. This won't cut it! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have a jam-packed episode, three gadgets from Pepcom's Holiday Spectacular. We talk about the Giz Whiz meetup. I have a new theme. It's gonna be amazing. All next on The Giz Whiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the host with the most, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very, very good. It's been a fantastic week. Um, the Over the weekend, we had the GizWiz meetup, which went swimmingly. Just fantastic. Swimmingly. Uh, it was very funny. We played a lot of games, and we played Wethead. And Cassandra played Wethead, and on the very first, and Wethead, you fill this hard hat with water, and then <laughs> these spokes that stick out from the hard hat, and you spin it, and then the little uh, n- number tells you how many rods you have to pull out. The very first rod Cassandra pulled out, she got drenched. Yes. <laughs> she pulled it, and I thought everything was fine. And so did I. Was, it was like it's delayed. Leaking. I, it's leaking. I, 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 and then, it was, and then <laughs> suddenly it, it all came at once. It was very <laughs> fun. It was uh, 79 degrees, so it was no problem. Uh, and then we played, uh, I think it was called Dunkhead, <laughs> uh, which is you put it on your head, and there are two targets, and people throw a ball at it. And you fill this little bin with water. And whoever hits the target, the person wearing it. So we put it on somebody. Uh, and then I think it was Adam said, the target is crooked. <laughs> so I straightened out the target, which tripped the thing. And so the <laughs> I forgot who it right was. Got, got so very wet. funny. But it was very good. We had a lot of fun. Oh, and Mo, the first, that was, I believe, our 10th meetup. This is the first meetup where you went home with... Yeah. A souvenir gadget. Guaranteed a gadget, is, everyone. Yes, everybody got, let me find the little button here. Everybody got this little pocket flat flashlight. That's the magnet flashlight Mo yes. covered. Um, and so it works. It's super thin. And you just you can stick it, it on the fridge. refrigerator or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And he made these nice little labels for the back. Oh, it's great! Oh, oh, he made postage stamps. Although every everything I mailed out got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> he know. made some. So there used to be this company where you could print your own postage with your own images, and then I think the post office changed their mind. <laughs> but I believe Mo had a ton. Of the stock that you can print on. So he also made little stick-ons, which I'm going to, when I mail out letters, I'm going to be able to use the uh, Gizwiz thing. uh, (laughs) On top of of real postage. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Next to real postage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Mo's in the chat room. Mo, thank you. That was... That and sweets. Mo brought... Oh, my gosh. He Some folks made some cookies. Oh, Lynn, Lynn made, made uh, she made a, a tin of homemade chocolate chip cookies and a tin of homemade, uh, I think they were peanut butter cookies. Oh, it's great. We it were was great. Well it was, fed, well gadgeted, well. Oh, you know, you want to run through, just speed yeah. through a little bit of that video. So this and, is a, the, us oh, we live. had the red car. We had the red yeah. carpet. Okay. Well, we had a red bath mat right. because we a, a budget. Is it live? Oh. We're live. We're live from the red carpet, the red here, carpet at here at Disneyland. Disneyland. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Chad and I just won. Oh, wow. Uh, Twenty-five awards. <laughs> the cupcake award. You do that math so fast. Do you, are you <laughs> just look, whoop, 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 whoop. twenty-five? I'd be tongue-tied. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the great oh, how much bigger they are. area. Oh, I forgot we yeah. blew up balloons. With the, uh, uh, yeah, a bunch of balloon with a bunch of balloon machine that makes up to forty balloons in forty-five seconds. It's great. 
Uh, oh, here's our disco lamp. Thanks that to the sure chat room. Really good, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. uh, yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was absolutely fantastic. There's the table of gadgets. All the stuff Mo brought for everybody. I the believe pretzels have been relegated to the chair. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, Let's see what else we got. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Disneyland. Yeah, let's go. See. So, sure you... Then we, I, yeah, I took him into Disneyland. I mean, then you gave a nice tour. I remember that. Oh, we had a little tour of uh, gadgets from my office and um, John Ficarra, the editor's office. You want to make a mad watch? Bill said, I just don't want you to stick Mad's name on something you have. It has to be something special. And they came up with a great idea that Alfred's in a straight jacket. So his feet tell the time. Uh, so that's the mad watch. And Unlike course, Mickey's hands that uh, <laughs> tell the time. I did the takeoff on Star Wars. This came on a Monday, followed by a letter from Lucas's lawyers on Wednesday <laughs> saying, we are suing Mad Magazine for copyright infringement. You cannot go around and use stuff that looks like our stuff. And I said to Bill Gaines, the publisher, what are you going to do? And he said, I'm going to do this. And he took a pen and he, he wrote across the lawyer's letter. Gee, your boss George liked it. <laughs> Xerox that and yeah, send it back. Send it back. That's hilarious. Yeah. So it was a great time. We had it was a great fun. Great, great time. fun. Um, so yeah, successful. Very successful. What else happened over the week? Uh, let's see. Well, today Comic-Con opened. Uh, here in New York City at the Javits. And uh, because of no one knows what's going on with Mad, there was no Mad booth. But I changed all that, as you will see. <laughs> it's New York Comic Con 2019. You know, Mad is sort of weighing down. We're not sure what's happening. But we're still very present here at the con. We have our, our booth is being set up here. And uh, we have... Oh, you know what? We just have coffee cups, but we do have an issue, so uh, can't wait for the crowds to line up. They're lining up now. Dylan, just uh, show the crowds. Oh, there's the crowd there. Let's get that crowd. So this is it. Uh, hopefully a very successful Comic-Con 2019. Bye. Uh, oh, man. I, I like it. We, we have an issue. <laughs> <laughs> we have an issue and a yeah. crowd. And a crowd. We're, we're, we're at the crowd is sitting right there. Oh, man. That's so funny. Golly. <laughs> Did you post that to Twitter? Because that needs to be shared far and, far and wide. Uh, I, uh, you know what? I don't think I did. I will that's put funny. it up. Yeah. That's very funny. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's great fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, and as I got to the build, you know, I thought it was a rainy, cold, rainy day. I figured, oh, you know, there's going to be no one there. Well, the crowds, you couldn't get into convention center. You had you, you got online outside the convention center because the line was for security. Oh, wow. And man. I went all the way through security. And uh, I said, you know, I have my badge. You know where the uh, pick up your badge is? And he said, yes, it's at the other end of the building outside security. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I went down. I got my badge. I had to go outside security, go down, get my badge. Get like, can, I get a, can I get a hall pass, please, so I don't have to yes, go back exactly, to this? Yes, exactly, exactly. And and the man who said, well, you have to leave security, I, I went back looking for him thinking, would you let me back in because I'm the guy who yeah, but, uh, asked. He, he was long gone. And I figured he wouldn't let me back in anyway because I could have, who knows what I could have done. Yeah. Outside you look security. suspicious. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't have trusted you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. So, should we jump into the yeah, show? Let's jump in. Okay. So it is. It was the Pepcom Holiday Spectacular about ten days ago, and the first gadget was introduced for the first time at Pepcom, and the second gadget is sort of like something from. Uh, out of space, which we'll talk about uh, when we get to that. All right, so here's the first gadget and its introduction. Okay, it's the Pepcom Holiday Edition, and it looks like we have some sort of uh, super Whoa. deluxe luggage. Is this a luggage? So this is the Ato. Ato is a mobility scooter. 
Uh, so this, is, this is a scooter? It is a scooter, I will show you in a few minutes. It's the only mobility scooter that doesn't look like a mobility scooter. And it's the only mobility scooter you can fly it. You can actually take it with you inside the plane. And do you want oh, when you said fly in it, I was going to say, I want one of those. <laughs> okay, you can take it in the plane. You can take it in the plane. You can basically take it anywhere, anywhere you want to go. All right, let's open it up. Okay. Okay. So that's the compact mode, and I will show you how it goes. Okay. You can easily turn it into a trolley mode. And just oh, I thought that was. I thought it. they had music. Okay, this is for going <laughs> through the airport or from place to place. Yeah, and in a few steps, just be careful because I'm going to open it. Be careful. Ha, who? This is this is really kind of amazing. Wow. Open it. No and joke. It's ready to go. That is amazing. Oh That's my god. It's like Transformer. Gosh. Would you like to try it? Well, I'm just going to sit on it because I don't want to run anybody down. Okay, so it's adjustable. <laughs> you can choose the high and angle. Wow. And if you want to go, you, can ju you just need to press the button. For start, just press. In the minute, yeah. <laughs> Three inches. This We're good. Amazing. It works. It is amazing. It's an Israeli product uh, developed by Nino Rosenberg. He's a polio victim. And Nino developed it for his own needs because he couldn't find any mobility scooter. And that everything he tried was ugly, heavy, clumsy, not stable enough. Now, what does this retail for? Actually, Half we are selling it in Israel, obviously, uh, in Europe. And we just came out with Arto to the U.S. market. You can find it in QVC, Top Mobility. And, and, and the price is... The price you can find it online, it's about $2,800, and yeah, it's really good. Uh, it, uh, it's really amazing. The fact that you could take the scooter any way you want to go, uh, I just think it's great. Uh, Dennis, there's the name of the company up here, too. The it, is Moving Life. Moving Life. Are you at movinglife.com? Movinglife.com. Exactly. Movinglife.com. Wow. That is incredible. Um, Isn't that neat? And, and yeah. actually, I thought $2,850, whatever it was, was really not bad. Uh, th these scooters are expensive. It's kind of like, uh, what is it? Hearing aids. Hearing like, aids. Crazy yeah, that expensive. $10,000. Yeah, for you just kind of got to get used to the expensive price. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, the fact that it's so easy to roll it. Also, um, I spoke a little off camera. It it can divide into two different pieces so that if you want to put it in an overhead bin, the two pieces will fit in, in an overhead bin. I can give you the thing. The Oh, the maximum weight that the, the passenger can be. It's 220 pounds, which is – that's a lot. Top speed is four miles an hour. Uh, a four to five hour charge. The scooter can run for 10 miles. I, I just think it is so great looking. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, 2000, you know, 800. I think it was, yeah, it was 20, 28. I think it was 20. It's oh, it's right there. Oh, there, yeah. there it is. Okay. I found one on have... MedMart. Um, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no idea yeah, if this is a great <laughs> company or not. I have no idea, right. but I found it. Um, I, I, that's, that's expensive, but I've, I, I really kind of wonder, I don't know enough about this space to know what are the, like, what is, you know, hover round is like the first thing that like pops to mind, like as a brand name of a mobility scooter. Um, uh, you know, I, I think I they're know, all yeah. in the $3,000 range for, uh, and this one, also this one, if you wanted to go shopping, I mean, they let almost any size cart go into stores, but sometimes the carts can just fit down an aisle. This one is very streamlined. Yeah. And so if you were like a, a traveling salesman who had mobility problems, you could just put this in a car, drive to a location, drive to uh, all the venues you had to stop at. 
Um, so I, I really have no idea kind of where to start here, but just kind of looking for other scooters. This yeah. Kind of, kind of a different uh, design. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, it looks okay. I didn't. Like here's one. Oh, here we Walmart, go. There we go. Oh, okay. Know? So they are okay. You can get them way cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But they don't fold up and you can't take them on an airplane. Yeah, it looks like they range all over the place in terms of cost. So there's some cheaper ones. I, I mean, I think it's you get what you pay for, you know. Right, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, Walmart has a ton of them. Um, inter this is so cool. I, I really love this. I love that it's a product that no other thing fills that category. If you need something, no. you can throw it. Now, I can't imagine how heavy that thing is. How, I'll, gotta, I can tell you exactly. It is a dump, um, 62 pounds. Yeah. I, okay. Huh. Are they going to so, let you put that in the overhead compartment? Well, well, well I guess that's why you, they divide it in half. Oh. The front the front half of the scooter is twenty six point four pounds, oh. and the rear half is thirty seven point seven pounds. Makes sense. I yeah. got my well, carry well, luck, on luggage, and my personal yeah. item. <laughs> well, a luggage. What are you allowed? It, it, yeah. Isn't a bag allowed to be forty pounds? It depends on the airline. I can't remember. Also, if carry on is different than checked, um, I don't know. I mean, oh, I don't. 50 pounds is Southwest. I've heard 40 pounds, 45 pounds before. Carry on. I don't know if there's a separate uh, weight limit. 50 pounds for checked. So for checked. Oh, okay. Okay. Folks. So interesting. I also wonder if uh, the, the two halves of one half is the batteries. If they manage to design it so one half is all battery. That way you would only, because you can't check lithium ion batteries you have to carry those on yeah the so. bad the battery separately is four pounds 4.1 okay, pound perfect. so i guess you would carry the battery right. with you yeah right they want the battery in it, it, yeah, it, yeah where, where it can be seen right that way if the cabin depressurizes you need the oxygen masks and to put out a fire of the battery <laughs> at the same time that's such a cool product it's pretty i neat. love it's pretty that. Neat. Yeah. Love that. i i think i think it is too uh, now, the next thing, we're going to use their video because, to me, it, it's like uh, science from another world. And, and it was, th this is the story right here. Let's run their video. CAR T-cell therapy is a new form of therapy where we harness one part of the immune system against the other. Many patients have cancers of their B cells. And so what we do in those patients is we collect their T cells and then we genetically modify them in the lab to make them into CAR T cells, which then target specific <laughs> receptors on the B cells being able to- Okay, I'm just gonna pause. This sounds like Star Trek. This is like Doesn't absolute it? Star Trek. This Doesn't is crazy. It? Okay, let's keep yeah. watching. Eliminate the cancer. We're probably not even in kindergarten with this technology. So in 10 years, I expect a whole host of cancers to be treated this way and some dramatic successes. I expect T cell based therapies to become both broader and more effective in that we will be using it for bone marrow cancers quite a bit. We'll be using T cell based therapies for solid tumors, including breast cancer, ovarian cancer, melanoma, sarcoma. And we'll probably be using more advanced techniques to make these cells so that they're more effective and less chance of relapse. A lot of patients who are going through cancer chemotherapy the T cells get hurt as bystanders as we're trying to kill the cancer cells. And so there are situations where patients um, have been attempted to collect T cells and they weren't able to collect enough, or the T cells were not of good enough quality so that when we went to try and manufacture T cells, the manufacturing process failed. I wanna make sure that these people. So what they're saying in layman's terms is if you are going through a therapy it may target your T cells, so this technique won't work because you don't have enough T cells to undergo this, the therapy that was explained in the first half of the video, I think. Okay, okay. Thank you, doctor. Never end up in a situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need a lab coat so that you, uh, <laughs> yes, I you know. trust what I know. I'm saying. 
patient where they need to get their T cells for a gene therapy treatment only to learn that they don't have enough in their body or to find out that they're too weak for a treatment. And we have an immediate solution for that. Cell Walt's technology of collecting the T cells and keeping them stored in a viable fashion for the long term puts two or three things straight in the patient's mind. One is that the patient will remember, I have banked my cells, so if I need them, I can use them. The second is that they don't need to stop their chemo or wait for chemo to finish while the cells could be used for manufacturing CAR T cells. If they were on continuous treatment, that even holds the disease in check while CAR T is being made from previously collected cells, that's a big logistical nightmare that you can avoid. Wow. So, yes, so they sell a product that uh, keeps your cells in a vault. Well, now I said this has got to be expensive. Yeah. So I, uh, I would okay if I was the hazard a guess. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Because right? then we'll, like, we'll go to the price chart. I'm thinking it's like 120 dollars a month or more. Uh, oh, I think you're very good. I, I think there is a hundred dollar a month plan, which includes that they come and they take five vials of blood. And I said, isn't that a lot? And he said, no, when you donate blood, you donate a pint. Uh, these five tubes are like a quarter of a pint. I forgot what it was, huh. but anyway, go do, if you scroll on down, you can see the storage fees and they're like, they don't just put them in like an ice tray. You oh, know? <laughs> this is a lot. I thought a monthly. Yeah, this is yeah, no, I know. I, so the first one is is a $700 collection fee and $300 a year. But then if you go further out, it becomes uh, cheaper. So do you pay all this up front? Looks like. Maybe not. I don't know. No, I, no, I, I you know, I think you pay... You know, I'm, you know, I'm not sure to yeah, tell you the truth. That's hard to tell. I, I think my T cells are, I think the T, the, the tea bags that make up my T cells <laughs> are too weak. Now they're just bitter, be, you know, to be saved. You don't want to remake time. any tea from those T cells. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Um, but I, I could see some young executive who wants every advantage that he could possibly yeah plan on saying, well, you know what? I'll, I'll put some money into this. I, I, um, okay. Hmm. Right. 20 years times $200 is 4,000. So I would assume you pay all this up front and, and you know, you're probably right because how do they know? And then you, you don't have a yearly yes. cost. Yes. And then they just assume you live for 80 years more than I am now. I would be 110. Um, interesting. That is crazy interesting. Yeah, it's, a lifetime story, 80 years, yeah. At this price point, um, I it's similar to, like I wonder, do you just keep going $300 a year after year after year? I need, I need more information. Um, yeah, no, this is not enough information. Um, now over at like Alibaba, it seems like, it seems like that's just it's insurance. just $30 <laughs> and you just, you bleed on some ice cubes Yeah, there you and go. then you, you just freeze it. <laughs> no, I, I like, like I said, uh, I think you have to be like no more than your age to yeah. probably want to do. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess if you have a lot of money, uh, you would take a, a chance on this and go, you know what? It's, Why not? It's yeah. not going to kill me to give up blood. And if this works, uh, it's an insurance policy. That is so interesting. I, it I is wonder interesting. at what point also it almost seems to be built into your insurance plan. Like I could see an insurance plan saying you buy – the gold you buy the gold platinum plan we're going to put away some of your cells for later um that's what you get included you know that's oh oh, I, oh oh that's interesting like that's interesting. uh yeah 
Or maybe right. your insurance company will say, oh, if you're in that, if you have the stuff in the refrigerator, that guy's refrigerator, uh, we're going to knock $50 a month off. Yeah, that thing. too. You, that too. You got, are you bringing your own T-cells to this plan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bring your own T-cells. <laughs> B-Y-O-T. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, and then we have our bring your own spleen. We have a lot of we have a lot of plans uh, for you to go over. Got a family member with an extra kidney? That'll be a lot. That was a huge. Discount. We'll we'll knock another twenty dollars off a month from that. Yeah. Oh man, um, that is yeah. such an now, insane. I thought it was fascinating. Cool. That, yeah, that to think it, that. It and then it would show up at a thing like Pepcom. You know, yeah. you're walking around and you think, is this like a Bluetooth speaker? No, this is, to, we collect your T-cells, uh, we freeze them, um, and up to 80 years later, you can uh, have them reinserted in your body, you go, which may mm. save your life. Cell Whoa. vault. Cell vault. That's, this is a vault from a cell phone. I'm, I'm all about it. Let's tell me <laughs> I more. Know. When you see the sign, that's exactly what you're expecting. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me a little bit of, I've heard that there's some way to freeze yourself right after you die and see if they oh yes, yes. You know, it almost reminds me of that sort of stuff. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think there was like except that there's actual that, technology, you know, for it. That, yes, there was always a rumor Walt Disney had himself yeah. frozen when he died, and yeah, insane, insane, very cool, insane. Cell Vault, uh, CellVault.com, if you're interested in that. Um, okay, and the last one is something new from iRobot. I just have to tell you, I think someone was walking across the cable because once or twice, it suddenly cuts from the mic I'm holding to the cell phone mic, uh, but you can hear what, what we're saying. But you'll hear it a uh, couple of times for 10 seconds, the sound bounce back and forth. But this is new from iRobot. Okay, it's iRobot. We know, ladies and gentlemen, we know all about them. Ways to clean your... Uh, do, do you know about our... Mopping? Mopping robots. These robots, unlike our vacuuming Roombas, these will mop your floor for you as well. And not only that, they'll even work with your Roombas. So you <laughs> Like in combo? In combination, yeah. It's called imprint link technology. It's that tiny little guy. <laughs> so this is Love our, the technology. Our 240. This one's really designed for bathrooms and kitchens. So it'll cover about 250 square feet and it'll mop your floor for you. So we have different pads that you can use. Basically put water inside of it. It sprays the water on the floor and then scrubs the floor and off you go. Sample of the of what the yeah, mops yeah. are. So this is our, our Brava <laughs> Jet M6 that you're seeing right here. This is our brand new mopping robot. It's fully Wi-Fi connected. It's got its own home base, and it's got four different pads that you can use with it: washable pads and single-use pads that you use once and you throw out afterwards. And the way this one works, you basically take this tank here, you bring it to your sink, you fill it up, put it back in the robot, attach a pad on the bottom, and then you just press clean. And you're good to go. Now, the the, uh, the robot comes back and you empty the tank full of dust and everything. What do you empty here? Yeah, so this one, it empties the water itself. So really all you have to do at the end is either take your pad and throw it in the washing machine. You get about 50 washes out of each of them. Or you take your pad and just throw it away. Okay. No dustbin to empty with this one. So. And, and now, is this guy like small enough to go behind yeah. your toilet? Yeah, exactly. This little guy here, the Bravajet 240, this will get around all those nasty places you really don't want to be cleaning. So it'll get behind your toilet, around your pedestal sink, uh, into all your nooks and crannies. It'll get that stuff that you've been meaning to clean for years and haven't got to. Okay, now let's talk uh, price. Th yep, these these yeah, two, are they out now? Or are they? they are, yep, yep, so we can talk price. So the Bravajet 240, the retail price is 199 You can often find it on the shelf for 169 on sale. And then the Brava Jet M6 here, this one just came out in June of 2019. It retail price is $4.99. If you're lucky, you can find it on sale for $4.49 sometimes. Uh, okay. And, and then uh, the, yeah, pads the pads are sold yeah. in sets? Yeah. Yep. So the pads, the washable pads are sold in sets of two for uh, $24.99. Like I said, you get 50 washes out of each of them. So it's, it, it's pretty economical. And then the single-use pads, you get seven of these guys. For seven ninety nine. Okay, and does this guy have a tiny little pad on him? Yeah, yeah. The, the little bathroom yeah, guy. The little pads. You'll get a ten pack of those little pads. So you'll see that the pads on this guy are a lot smaller, uh, but you'll get a ten pack of these for seven ninety nine. 
Uh, I think that's really... And we sell washable versions of these as well. Yep. Okay, Amazon. So, yep. iRobot.com, Amazon, Best Buy, um, Target, all the major retailers. Uh, I like it. This is great. So something new from iRobot. iRobot can clean the places you don't want to be caught dead cleaning. <laughs> Makes you appreciate that mic, uh, the audio switching between the the room mic and the handheld. That's funny. So, uh, well, you I, have a Rumba, right? I do. I have a Ufi, which is a, a, oh, the Ufi, the thing yeah, from Anchor. From Anchor, um, right. and I love that thing. And I have the one with the lidar on the top, so it'll uh, it has lidar technology. Ooh. Which is an actual technology instead of, but it probably technology. will not talk to an iRobot mop, right? No. They probably wouldn't be seen together. No, no, no. We wouldn't get that imprint technology. Um, no, and there's, there's so much stuff. It has uh, I Adapt 3.0 navigation with V Slam technology and imprint smart mapping. Cool. Isn't it easy to just have a housekeeper and say, could you clean the living room, clean the bathroom, and shut the lights when you leave? Uh, but you don't get that imprint technology. You only get no, hand, I, no. You know, handshake technology, and that's old stuff. <laughs> that's not going to sell robots. Um, oh, and I think they listen to it. You can command them with Alexa or uh, Google. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. You'd probably they argue. They that. would probably argue. You'd say, clean the house, and the mop would <laughs> what, go, well, What have you done for me lately? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. That's that's your kind of flaw. I'm not on I'm, you clean that up. That's that's a mop situation. No, no. That's a broom situation. Interesting. Well, we'll wait till the owner comes home, and he can decide who cleans what. I see big problems with this. Yeah. Uh, I, so, like, I don't know. Uh, the thing, the thing that I use mine for is, uh, and uh, who was it in the chat had this question? Bleak says, does it ever run over like cat throw up or anything like that? My cats do throw up a lot. Um, and what I do is I, I do it as if I was, I know that I'm about ready to go sweep. You know, like instead of picking up the broom and sweeping the house, I survey, I make sure everything's off the ground. Um, my cats, for some reason, love to play with socks. So there's almost always a sock on the ground, which will get in the way of the robot. So pick up the socks on the ground, and then I start it. So I, I don't have it scheduled. It doesn't do it automatically. I know when it goes, and I make sure to look to see that it's all clear. Um, and so I could kind of see the same thing with a mop. You'd ha I would see feel like you have to have both, because you don't yeah. want to be mopping you know, when you need to sweep first and then mop second. Um, interesting. I think it's... I mean, if you, if you like gadgets and you want the ultimate everything... Right. Also, check I this mop out. a lot less than I sweep. Like, I only mop, like, once a month. And I'll sweep, you know, a, every week. Um, and, yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't even mop that much. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Throw out a well, that's because you don't have meetups at your house. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, cool, awesome. All Good. right, so some neat stuff, Innovation which stuff. brings us to Who? Chad's. Ha! Oh, I'm not ready with the audio. Here no, we go. You don't need ha. it, but ha. you might ha. want it at ha. Chad's ha. Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, I want to keep it a secret, although it's probably not that big of a secret. Based okay. off of the patrons, they had Alibaba slash AliExpress gadgets, left-handed gadgets, and branded gadgets. What do you think they picked? Oh, everybody. Uh, our chat room, Alibaba. <laughs> no? I, I, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm going to give the chat room more credit than they probably think I'm giving them. I expect them to choose the Alibaba too. I kind of threw these, I really want to do Alibaba, so I kind of threw in some some categories that I really didn't think they would vote for. Oh, and what happened to what happened to sex toys over a thousand dollars? It didn't make the poll. I'm sorry. Or yeah, cars over twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> I just should have thrown that in there. Um, of course, they took it away. I think this is the biggest, oh the my biggest gosh. voting category we've ever had. Seventy percent 
of the wow. folks voted for Alibaba, AliExpress gadgets. So I have a few here. I have pre-planned for this category by buying these gadgets ahead of time uh, last month and waiting for them all to arrive. And I will say, they actually arrived a lot faster than I expected. They, they, Alibaba mm. is speeding things yeah. up. Yeah. I, I, right now I'm waiting like two weeks and two and a half weeks instead of two months. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I got all oh, my can stuff. Can we play guess the gadget? Can we play guess the sure. gadget? Sure. Yeah, I'm down. Here, let me cut this one free. Um, the one thing that you don't get with Alibaba is any type of packaging. Everything either was inside of the envelope, you know, the plastic sort yes. of Tyvek envelope. Um, that they give you, and that was the packaging, or it came in something like this, which is just a simple poly bag, and that is it. Okay, so guess the gadget. Here, let me zoom in on me. Uh, this, this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. Oh, well, oh uh, it's an antenna? No. A game? Nope. Let me look and see what the chat room's doing. Something to measure booze? I'm looking up here. Mm. A hanging doorknob? No. no. A door stopper? No. Is it useful? I don't know. I haven't tested <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, but you know what it you know what it is. I know what it is, yes. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'll give uh, you a something hint. A, ma a magician uses. No, I'll give you a hint. It is used in the kitchen. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is a good one. What the heck is it? It is a good one. Because it the also has zero it. branding, because you don't buy that on Alibaba. No, I know. I know. I just, I thought it was something to measure. So, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it is I, not anything to measure anything. No. If it had a sharp uh, tip on it, I'd say it's a thing to like stick receipts on, but it, it has a ball at the end. Here's, here's the other right. hint. And I don't even know if you'll get it now. An egg. Does the egg sit in that? Uh, no, I don't get it. <laughs> Do you so, drop that ball on the egg? Yes. So this is an egg cracker. Let me show you the um, the the store page. So this goes on top of the egg, and it's supposed to crack the egg perfectly. So you get a circular um, hole on Ow. the top of the egg. What? Yeah. Okay. Um. I just realized, I thought that, oh, okay, good, yes, raw shell egg. Okay, I read boiled egg, and I was like, wait, do I need to boil these eggs? Because I remember that it said raw egg, and, okay, I, I, I had a moment. I was worried there. So, let's try this out. I have a bowl. I've never oh, so done these this. Are, these are right out of the refrigerated yes, eggs. Yes, these not, are chilled, not, cold, raw eggs. eggs. Now, it okay. has a black stopper. And it can move, and it was really low at first. So I don't know if this is like something that you were supposed to do. I don't know why it's there. It might even be on the wrong side of the. And of course, there's zero instructions. No, so I'm just I kind know. Of guessing. It looks like the stopper's up at the top. I have no idea. So we're just going to experiment together. Okay. Um,. Here we go. <laughs> it did nothing. <laughs> okay, let's move this up. Is it easy to do it while it's still in the box? Maybe. Yeah, here. We'll try that next. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay. This I can push on push on it a little bit better. Oh, there is a crack. Oh, there is a crack. I have to help it along. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to just break this egg in my hands. There's a very obvious crack. Oh, you see I that see. Crack? Yeah, but just a little. Hit it again. Okay. 
Here, let me see if I can line this up on that crack. <laughs> I'm gonna just move this to the top and, and give yeah, it a full, there you go. A full there you blow. Go. And... Okay. How did someone come up with the idea of this? It's sort of working. <laughs> did you see that? That crack right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ah! It, okay. It it broke the rest. It finally ended up working. It, but it, it broke the rest. It sort of worked, right? Sort of. It, uh, uh, see, I'm I assuming that this may be like, okay, you want to make confetti eggs, and you want the perfect circular hole on the top. Use this, is what I was okay. assuming. Oh, this you, you know, it's Sco Scooter X... Scooter X put up a link. Is, uh, is, is cracking eggs hard? <laughs> it is now. There we go. Oh. This is the perfect... I, I just dug my fingernail in there just to get off the top. Okay. So that was what I was assuming it would do, was like make the perfect top. For whatever right. reason. I hope you're hoping on scrambled eggs in the morning. Yeah. Exactly. Don't plan on having. Oh. Uh, see, that one didn't do it. Oh, no, it did. It's so subtle. It's hard to tell. I probably should decontaminate the gizwiz. <laughs> There's this tiny, tiny little crack. That Bleak says this seems to be some French thing. Uh, why would you use it? Does anyone I don't know? know? I don't know <laughs> either. There you go. Now, are those little pieces of shell, or is that the light reflect the re uh, reflections of your spotlight inside here? No, there's, uh, there's in, no in, on the eggs. No, that's just like the membrane reflections. And stuff. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. No, they're so far shellless. Okay, well, there's that. Well, um, I'll be honest. Oh, wait, the I, guy, the, hang on. Bleak says the guy on the, vidi, uh, on the vid shows you got to put it on the top of the egg, not the bottom. Oh. Oh, this one's crap. I got a bad, bad egg. Oh, that one already. Okay. Did that come with it as a test? Yeah. Okay. okay. Top, top of the egg. Top of the, top of the egg to you. It worked better. It definitely did. The crack is much more defined. Whoops. I, that was my fault. I crushed it. Okay. We only got one egg left. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. The gadget was only $3, but we're spending $6 <laughs> for egg. Let's try this one more time. This, this, is, okay. this is the one more time. It, it seems to lodge itself a lot more on there, and I wonder if I should use that as an advantage to kind of... <laughs> Get off! <laughs> Get off! <laughs> okay. Uh, I will agree that that is a better crack. <laughs> it's just... So hard to maintain the egg integrity once it's already cracked. There we go. Kind of got a perfect egg. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like it's for the egg shell afterward. Is if you want to save the egg shell for whatever reason. For what reason? <laughs> Confetti eggs? That's the only thing I could think of. I have no idea. Uh, there you go. Now, here's the thing, is I ordered so many gadgets, uh, thinking that some wouldn't arrive, that I actually have a second gadget to cover. Okay. So here's the next gadget, we'll do a what the heck is it with this as well. And this is my bag, just to keep all the pieces together, because it comes with two pieces. And this is it. Let's see if we can get the camera uh... to focus. Oh, uh, is, is it a, a cutter? And then here's the other piece. 
and that oh. piece will replace this. That's all that that's used for. And you're right, it is a cutter. So let me get the store up. Yeah, uh, uh, the one thing, <clears throat> I have something similar that's a cutter, but it doesn't have a replaceable head. So yeah, so it's this finger tool to cut stuff. So it shows cutting paper, cutting packages, cutting But it won't, meat it won't cut your hand. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'll be honest, it's been a bit since I ordered this. And I misremembered this product. And I thought that this was an orange slicer. I, for some reason, I forgot that I only did paper. And I thought it was an orange slicer. Because my family has had orange peelers in the past. So I have some paper and I have an orange to test it on. Uh, oh, and then I also have a, a box with just some tape. So here's the box with some tape. So you just take this. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that cut open that tape. It's having a hard time on this sticker. And this label, it's not, it's not strong enough. You can see this bends. It bends too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's not strong enough. I don't know. It seems that you have to have a certain kind of egg and a certain kind of paper. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> and then it kind of showed opening bags that you would like get shipped in and then we'll just Oh, that it did good. It, no, it didn't even cut oh, it. Oh, no, it didn't. This is the it cheapest like bag. It, was... it, it cut a few holes. Okay, that's a piece of no. junk. That is a piece of junk. <laughs> Can't even cut the Ziploc. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay, this is what I originally, or I guess secondarily thought that it was for was to slice into the side of an orange. That way you can stick your finger under there and peel it. And then if you put the other thing on it, you can make orange juice <laughs> when the ball falls. So that's what I thought this was for, but I don't think it, it's not deep enough to do that either. This is just a crummy piece of junk. Well, luckily it's only 90 cents. So, if you want to blow Oh, yeah, but then you have to figure 13 cents shipping. <laughs> Sudden, suddenly, it's a dollar and three cents. <laughs> um, so, there you go. <laughs> now my hands smell like raw egg and oranges. This is, oh this my, is great. The French chef. <laughs> um, okay, well, there you go. This was a complete dud. I would not suggest it. Oh my god! And this was a complete dud. Would not suggest it. Don't it's forget a great before start. you throw before you throw everything out, get a photo of the two of them <laughs> uh, for my website and email it to me with the links. I, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. There we go. Um, that wraps up the first week of Alibaba. <laughs> we have some fun stuff coming. So. You know, you guys should look forward to it. I don't even know how I'm going to clean up this studio. We're just going to leave it all right there for the rest of the show. With that, let's move into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. On. Well, uh, from the meetup, we met Jeffrey Smolovitz and Adam, his son, and they have sent us another video, which they title The Old Way Was Better. <laughs> and here's their video. Hey, Dickie, D, and Chad. This is Jeff with my son, Adam. Woo! And your eyes are not deceiving you. It is a pencil with an eraser. And that's not the gadget I want to show you, but it kind of ties into this. So we're going to call this an item that didn't need to be invented. Adam, can you demonstrate the old way? 
As you can see, he's <laughs> an eraser. eraser. Oh. Initial, initial in his name. Who got an A? I never oh, saw yeah. an A before. <laughs> wow. And this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. It's a little device that takes two AAA batteries, has an erasing a tip, and push button. I saw it at a store for a dollar ninety-nine, named Diaso. D A I S O. My son is going to show you now what we call the new way. Adam, please. Hold it down. Hold it down to operate it. <laughs> this you could have got this on Alibaba. Not really doing the greatest job. Um, I paid a dollar, you know, like I said, and they do sell the replacement eraser heads, I guess. So again, chalk this up to an item, in my opinion, that definitely didn't need to be invented. The old fashioned way is a lot better, but I saw in the store and I couldn't resist. So thanks again. Love your show. Take care. That is hilarious. So that little, you know what this reminds me of was the toy driver. Remember the toy oh, driver? Oh, the toy. Oh my gosh. It just didn't have to any oh. oomph. It didn't have any, any power to it. So to erase yeah. something, you got to really get some friction going. And well, I little... looked on Amazon. Did I, did I send you the link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be 50 companies that do this making. Now they have rechargeable and who I mean, oh, you know what? Actually, this they, much. They, they, oh, that looks like the one he had. Yeah, almost. But you know what? These people giving it good reviews. Yeah, I don't get it. These are fake reviews. These are <laughs> real. I don't believe it. it. Could be. Uh, do you really think five hundred and thirty-one people bought this product? I think that is fake. Fake. Wow. Actually, maybe. Hmm. There's actually well, Da Vinci. Photos. It looks like Da Vinci bought six of them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> huh. Well, then he does a lot of art, so you that's got to be a real review. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I have it's, to it Dennis passes what the smell test. That. Yeah, there's no fake photos. Wow, who's buying this? Refillable. Huh. You really... Are artists really getting this? I don't, I don't know. I have to ask Dennis. Dennis, you have to run down quick and say, is there, do you use... <laughs> Do you use a racer in? It looks like an eraser bra. Oh, I guess that's a cleaning uh, to clean the thing. I don't electric racer, one hundred forty refills. I'm shocked. They all have great reviews. This is they this one's do. Amazon's choice. Yeah. Wow. I, I'm shocked. Very. Me shocked. too. Me too. I thought there might be one or two companies, not all these, and not. These elaborate, they're like turning into mini machines. Yeah. 350,000 refills. And then, of course, there's the, I, I should do this. Is One week we should just do the Alibaba versions of all the products. Oh, that looks like exactly <laughs> like the one that Adam uh, had. Uh, interesting. That is so oh. interesting. Yeah, oh, I agree. At, I think the look, old way look, is look, better. Look what they call it. The battery-operated eraser, electric, automatic, school supplies, leather, what? Stationer. Stationer. E? Why? Child, Child day. day gift, gift material, Escala. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, hmm. You learn something every day. Didn't know that this was a product category that needed to be filled. Neither did I. That is crazy. Crazy. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. well, thanks for the, <laughs> thanks Jeff, for the uh, warehouse. Yes, Jeffrey. Um, you'll get the car. You'll get the new issue of Mad Magazine. Oh, hang on. Dennis Wendelin, an artist, is roaming in. Uh, we had an electric raise, uh, electric yeah, eraser show, right? on the show. Do you ever use those that in your work? No. No, you would never use it. I use kneaded erasers. You like what? Kneaded erasers. A media eraser. Kneaded eraser. Kneaded eraser. Kneaded. Yeah. Oh, I've okay. seen these. So these are erasers that you, that it's like a putty, and that way you can uh, knead it and get rid of the um, 
you know, uh, soot, lead, uh, whatever they use in pencils. Um, you can knead it back into the eraser so it kind of oh. dissipates. Um, and it does a great job of, of picking up the art gum. Yeah, that, that sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, well, Dennis is very shy. He's already gone. <laughs> He's out of here. He, he wanted to be trapped. He saw me reach for the mouse that I was going to zoom back. So he figured, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be on camera. Wow. Um, Jeffrey, you'll get uh, uh, the, uh, I think it's November, December issue of Mad Magazine. And thank you for your video. We're looking for more videos, okay? A uh, video about any kind of gadget. And put it on YouTube. There's a little drop-down menu. You can click Unlisted if you only want people with the URL to see it. And we need that URL. Uh, so send it to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Anywhere from uh, a minute to three minutes. If you live in the U.S., you get the Mad and an Alfred E. Newman picture. If you live anywhere else in the world, I'll autograph an actual photo to you, send you a high-res scan, so you can print it out no matter where you live. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And horizontal videos, please. Yes, yes, please. Please. With that, let's move on to the letter. Oh, you know, and I think Gabe was here, too, at the meetup. Gabe uh, Benitez, Dickie and Chad. Here's a video I took at home of a video that was, I, I didn't quite understand this, so which is why I put it in the letter category. Dickie D, here's a video I took at home of a video that was taken in Southern California in a Target. I took the video after the fact, as I didn't think at first, but I thought later that it would make a cool gadget for the show. I found this really hip DJ, so hip he has two, uh, I guess, turntables. So this is the DJ, and play that video. Hello, everyone. Oh. Gabriel Benitez here. Um, Merce Angel in the uh, chat room. Yeah, Merce Angel's there. Now, I, uh, I've been thinking about having a party uh maybe around halloween and i was thinking about uh hiring a dj so then i went to target and i saw this person and i thought he'd be the great dj for me That is elaborate. I didn't realize, I, I Gabe, I didn't realize that you made it. I'll send you a Mad Magazine to uh, uh, Gabe. So it turns out, Chad, you know who makes this? Hide and Eek? Yes. Yay! My favorite company to say out loud. Yes. But do you know what it cost? A lot. <laughs> 200 I don't know. Oh, I'd... okay. No, no, 100 bucks. 100 Hundred. 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 Uh, I mean, a hundred dollars for a for thing you're going to use, use on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I like. I rather have my short out box for twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, I think he sent the leak uh, a link to where it's at on on Target. Yeah, it's a Halloween prank from Chad's uh, favorite company. Hyde, Merce Angel. A -A -A -H -Y -D -E. Merce Angel. Yeah, Hyde. And, sorry to interrupt. Merce Angel yeah. gave me the answer I should have said. How much is it going to cost? An arm and a leg. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. So hide and eek. So, hide and eek. <laughs> and there's a link there uh, in the show notes I sent where what it looks like when you buy it. He has two hips. Um, <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, I really like that little DJ guy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's very good. Um, with that, I'm coming to the end of our show. I want to say yes. hey, huge thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thanks for putting up with my uh, polls, even if I did weight them um, in, <laughs> in one way to make you guys vote. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting the show. You guys are amazing. 
Thank you so much. Our, uh, we really do appreciate your generosity when it comes to the Gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoy the Gizwiz and want to give back, a great way is through Patreon, patreon.com slash gizwiz. That is our Patreon page. Uh, there you'll support every time we upload an episode, you'll support whatever uh, you have pledged. And we are seriously asking for very little, not a ton. So uh, whatever you guys want to support, thank you so much. And also, if Patreon is not your deal, you want to give maybe one time or set your own schedule, we have a PayPal link over at gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and uh, there's a PayPal link right underneath the Patreon banner. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can see the show live, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. That is where you can see the show, and you can join the chat room. Chat room's fantastic, and uh, catch everything as it happens live. Don't worry, if you don't catch it live, you can always catch it after the fact. Same place, join the gizwiz.tv, and uh, see all of our previous episodes there. Just uh, scroll on down. Click one you want and check it out. You also have links there to subscribe on iTunes, RSS, or YouTube. Also, don't forget to head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's where Dickie D's site lives. There you can play What the Heck Is It? It's what we love to parody. It's like, it's the funnest <laughs> game show thing to quickly say, I don't think you know what this is. Uh, and here is the current gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. And uh, this is obvious uh, to me whenever you are at a uh, baseball game, football game, you know, any of those with uh, bleachers, and there's not enough seats, uh, these little arms will go on either side of the person sitting, and so you can sit right on their lap, but out without sitting on their lap. It, it, the nice support wow. on either side of them. It's a little bit elaborate, but that's definitely what this gadget is. Then it folds right on up for you once you're finished. If uh, you think you know what this gadget is, get a guess in six mad magazines for correct answers, but 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and yes, incorrect answers over there at gizwiz.biz. And this is the mad magazine you're playing for. This is it, the, this is it, uh, the, the it takeoff. Um, Little Alfred there with his creepy balloon. And, yeah, it's coming out of the toilet, I just realized. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. And he's using one of those balloons that we blew up in the backyard. <laughs> exactly. That is a bunch of balloons balloon. A bunch of balloon balloons. You better believe it. Uh, so get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We don't have, we don't have, an, we don't have a, an announcement. We don't have a uh, meetup to talk about. So... No, not we'll in the 2020. We don't have a date yet. No. <laughs> we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>